What's up, guys? This is Xiaolinge. Welcome back to iOS tutorials. Remember, last time we have been working on a project of adding animations when we load our table view like this. Um, so in this demo, we have been adding animations when we load the table view. If you guys haven't seen it, feel free to visit the video tutorial or the or you can directly get the code from our repository. I will post a link down below. But today I will talk about something when we display our roles like this, this, and this. So I mean these animations might be not needed for your project, but but I think this is fun experience that Using this, I can show you guys a basic idea of how to use or how to add animations onto a UI element. For our case, this time is adding animations in our cell dot content views. Oh, by the way, the final project will be available in the GitHub repository as Euro. So feel free to download from the link that I will post down in the video description. All right, let's take a look at the code. So let's quickly create our project. We can use a simple single view controller with um, any name as you want, just a display role demo. And continue and create. So first, let me change the settings of the font to make you guys to see it more clearly. I mean, I'm gonna make the fonts bigger. Um, let's make it like 18 here. And if you come back to our view controller, that's all we need. So first, let's go to our storyboard and let's simply drag a table view there and let's quickly set up the auto layout um, attached to the status bar. So we're going to set top 0, leading 0, trailing 0, and bottom 0, and then add 4 constraints. So if we right click our table view, we can simply drag the data source as well as the delegate for the table view. And now we're going to drag an IB Alice. Let's simply call it table view. But you can name it whatever as you want, just this name of the table view. So we also need to create a cell. Um, let's simply use basic cells this time. So click your cell, expand it a little bit, and then choose cell. Go to the inspector tab, choose basic. Um, in this case, we can put an image as well as a label by default. So I prepare for uh, an image of my selfie and just uh, click finish. In this case, I'm, I mean, I'm using my selfie because it's not a symmetrical image because this will involve some flip of an, flip animations. So I want to show it clearly um, that you guys can see the flip. Um, that's the reason. Okay, so if we come back to our UI view controller class, we're going to add first UI table view data source and uh, we also will adopt UI table view delegate. In this case we're gonna only use three functions. So first which is a data source a self row at index path. And the second one will be function table view and number of rows in section. And the last one but not least is function table view will display cell. So all the animations we're gonna written, we're gonna write will be in the view display. So because we're gonna use our um, table view data sources functions, so we're gonna need an array. So I have prepared for an array here and let me paste here. Um, just some random text like hello here is the demo test animations are added onto table view cells cell rows will be moving blah blah mm, so you, you're gonna you guys are gonna see those texts in the demos but now let's define our cell 
with table view dot dig reusable cell with identifier. So let's use identifier as C E L L and we're gonna copy and paste this string later in the storyboard to connect our cell from storyboard into our class. And uh, because we're using a basic cell, we can directly use cell.text label.text is equal to array with index of index path dot row. In this case we can return cell. I mean cell is optional, so we have to put an exclamation mark here. And in the function number of rows in sections, we can directly use array.count very easy. And finally, we're gonna implement some logic in the view display, but let's leave it empty now and run our project for the first time. Yeah, I think it's better to put some comment here in case you guys, when you directly watch the repository codes, this will remind you something. So let's run our project now. It's gonna crash because we forget to copy and paste the cell onto the sort storyboard cell UI element. So let's go to the UI storyboard and copy and paste the cell to onto the identifier. Um, and let's get back and run our project again. In our simulator, everything will be static. If we scroll up and down, nothing will happen because we haven't set up any animations yet. So let's do it now. So let's uh, come to the cell um, table view, view display function, and let's put some comment again. In this case, we're gonna first step. We're gonna create a rotation animation. So we can use var to define the rotation because we can change the property of the rotation later. And we can what are, what we're gonna define is CA transform 3D rotation animation. So as you can see, there will be four inputs here. The first one will be the angle that we're gonna rotate. Basically, we want to rotate 90 degree. So we're gonna use 90 times 2 pi over 360 degree, which is 90. I mean, we can cancel the 2, so it's just 90 times pi over 180 degree. And for the x, y, and z value, we're gonna put 0 here. In this case, actually, we're not rotating at all. And we're gonna change the x, y, z value later. The range of x, y, and z value you can treat as from 0 to 1. I mean, actually, you can make it greater than 1. But as we're thinking these values as a unit, you can make 1 as your reference. So next step, we're going to set up the projection methodology mathematically. So we're going to use M34, which is the most acceptable one by the visual um, so the M34 is one mathematical function or mathematical way to generate the projection that usually are seen by our eyes. So in this case, we can set 1 over negative 500. I mean, you don't have to know this very well, why this is 1 over negative. But this is a way to, you can use to generate the projection. So after that, we can simply set a cell.contentView.layer.transform is equal to our rotation. And next, we can set cell.contentView.layer.anchorPoint is CG.00. As its meanings, the anchor point is the way that you fix your point and uh, use this point as your reference to do the animation. In our case, we're making 0, 0 at the center of the rotation. So in this case, we're going to rotate our cell.contentView regarding the anchor point, which is 0, 0. It, uh, I mean, which is on the left up corner of the cell. Uh, next step, we can use animation to animate, start animate our animation. And of course we can use set animation duration to set up the time of the rotation animation. 
and uh, don't forget the following one line which is cell.contentview.layer.transform is equal to CA transform 3D identity. Before we input the last sentence, actually let's try to run our project. This time when we run a project, it will, it will have some problem because we didn't separate our animation from the main scroll animation. Means this will cause a big issue that when we scroll, um, our animation is kind of try to obsess uh, the main thread against our scroll animation. So we have to add the following one line, UI commit animations to kind of separate our animation from the main scroll animation. I mean, we haven't set the X, Y, and Z value. So at least this time, nothing will happen, but the UI should be smooth. Okay, so it is good as we expected. Now we can add the animation onto different directions. So let me do a little bit changes. Let me add three variables, which is X, Y, and Z. Let's check the type should be CG point. So let's define the type of the X, Y, Z value as CG float, not CG point, excuse me. So let's originally put everything to be zero again, and let's put X, Y, and Z onto the line 43. Um, so in this case, when we directly get a change X, Y, and Z, it will be reflected. So in the first case, let's try to change the X value, which, as I mentioned, we're going to set this value to be one only as a unit or um, identity value. Okay, so as you can see, our all the cell dot content views is rotating along with the direction of it's not as a direction it's try to rotate along with the x axis which is a horizontal axis okay so if we change that value back to zero and now we name y value to be one and then run our project again and we can see this time it will try to rotate all the content view vertically again 90 degree and um, this is what we're expecting right because we are setting the y value to be y now I mean you guys please feel free to modify these values to play around or tweak these va different values to generate uh, even combination I mean by the same time you can put x to be 1, y to be 1 at the same time, it will have some combination effect. So feel free to try it out. But now let's try the z value. Now remember we have changed the animation duration to be longer. So now can, the animation is kind of slower so you guys can see it, see it more clearly. So as we expected, um, it is rotating along with the Z axis. This is pretty much about it. I think we have done an awesome job again in this video tutorial that we have been successfully adding some animations into our table view cell, especially in this cell will display delegate function. So feel free to leave any comments or any other suggestions that if any other topics could be useful or could be very interesting as well. So in that case, I will think about to post another video tutorial dependent on your suggestions only. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and also um, stay tuned. Hope I can see you in next tutorial soon. Peace.